dude, how epic is that? All right, good morning, guys. What's up? Welcome back to another video. Today is August 26, 2021. It's a uh, gorgeous morning out here, as you can tell. I'm still a little tired. I've been up for about an hour and a half, getting everything rigged and ready, but got another Wave Runner mission for you today. In Shore recently, we've had a, a kind of a flurry of uh, exotic fish reports, including Spanish mackerel. So that's my target for right now. Last year, I made a, a small video trolling for Spanish mackerel out on the wave run. I think I caught two. It wasn't a seller day. Today, I'm hoping for at least half a dozen fish. There's been a big school offshore. That's what I'm trying to get on. Um, got my rods rigged up here. Not a uh, an actual trolling setup, more like a smaller spinning setup, but we've got our size two Clark spoons, three ounce trolling weight. I've got another rod rigged up just like that down on the wave run already. And then I've got a, uh, a light tackle rod right here where I can throw some some metals if need be. My, my plan is to find the school, shut the engine off, stop trolling, and just cast and retrieve. Catch them that way, it should be a lot more fun, and I'll save some gas. But uh, yeah, guys, without further ado, I'm gonna head down to the Wave Runner. Just had a nice Greek yogurt breakfast. GoPro's all ready. I'm awake. I'm stoked to get out there. Stay tuned, guys. Let's slam. You. got bit right away hopefully you guys can see this was that Spanish yep Spanish mackerel baby we're on first one of the day dude that's a jumbo too it's a nice size Spanish man oh yeah we're back baby let's go check that out guys hopefully you saw that hit right there there we are first Spanish mackerel right there baby Right in the footwell. Gorgeous fish. Nailed that clark spoon, dude. Woo-hoo! Let's go. There we go, guys. Right through the fog, I was able to get it done. The conditions out here are absolutely terrible. I was making a run straight off the beach, going straight east, and then I just hit a giant wall of fog. So I turned around instantly, came in where I could see a little bit better just so I could get my bearings. So it was also in a channel. And you do not want to be in a channel while there's fog out here, especially on my jet ski with no radar. Thankfully, this thing's pretty nimble. I can bounce around pretty quickly, but I mean, my visibility right now is maybe 20 yards at the most. So I'm using, I'm being very, very cautious while driving out here. But anyways, guys, first catch of the day, epic Spanish macro right here. It's not even a bad size Spanish. Um, probably took 30 minutes to troll him. Let's get this guy on ice real quick. He's already bleeding out. He's coughing up a ton of spearing, which is really cool. But uh, yeah, let's get him on some ice blood all over my hands and yeah let's get back to trolling hopefully catch a couple more if we start getting a lot in this area then we'll uh we'll stop trolling and start casting and hopefully slant them that way so stay tuned guys hopefully this fog clears up but uh yeah first one Ow. so guys that came on this rod right here this is the uh 3000 size shimano naski seven foot tsunami slow pitch jigging rod it's not uh not a trolling rod by any means but it gets the job done it's got a nice stiff action um and that thing loaded up really well with that fish. We've got, this one has a uh, four ounce trolling weight right here with some 30 pound fluorocarbon to a size two Clark spoon. And that guy was out about 20 feet from the vessel. So really was not out that far at all. And the rod behind me to my right is similar, has a, a three ounce trolling weight and a size two Clark spoon as well. And uh, yeah, just dope we got that done. 
So I'm gonna get back on the troll. We got that guy going about eight miles an hour. You need to troll pretty fast for these Spanish mackerel is what I've read and kind of what I learned out here. So we'll get back on the troll guys without further ado. Hope this fog clears up. It really is just sketchy out here. I don't like being out here at all, but I'm already out here. Might as well just keep on sending it. So stay tuned, hopefully catch a bunch more. We are on again. Literally, troll about 50 feet, so we're definitely on a good score right here. Fish on, baby. Oh, it's a blue fish. It's a blue fish. Can you believe that? Still good eating, so we're gonna keep them, but there's our first blue fish of the day. Dude, there'll probably be a bunch of these out here. I thought it was a Spanish the way this guy hit. But uh, yeah, there we go. Second fish, guys, literally trolled about 30 more seconds after landing that Spanish. Throw him in the box. And let's get back to trolling, stay tuned. Bite is heating up. We're on, we're on. We're on this rod. We're on on this rod. We're on. Bite is hot, guys. Third fish within five minutes. Oh, just skied out. Big Spanish. Lines, oh no, he popped off. Oh, he popped off, that's my fault. Got tangled with another rod, bummer. But that was cool, guys. I'm thinking I'm gonna stop for a second here. Start making some casts of a light jigging rod. The bite is definitely on right now, guys. This is my third bite, third fish in five minutes, 10 minutes. So it has not been long at all. I've trolled maybe a couple hundred feet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set these guys down for a second. If we don't get anything, a couple casts will start trolling, but I'm gonna pick up the uh, the good old light tackle rod with the Mad Manish Sand Eel jig. Bomb a couple casts out there. And see if we can pick up anything. Well guys, as fun as it would be to try to cast and reel all of them in, catch them on artificial. I think I'm gonna swap back to trolling just till we get a couple more fish in the boat, get some more numbers going. So start back up, do our 360 route, and uh, start getting bit again. I mean, this is awesome. Getting bit within every five minutes. Get this guy in. Can't believe it, dude. Epic. 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 Epic, epic, epic. Nice Spanish, too. Spanish are thick out here, boys. They are thick. Let's freaking go. There we are, guys. Yeah, another wave runner spanish mackerel right there not as big as the first one but but nice fish right there definitely they're thick right now I, I literally i've caught my first fish about 30 minutes ago 20 minutes ago and we've gotten this is my fourth bite within that time frame so they're jumping on as soon as i start trolling this is awesome 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 when you have a plan and you go out there and it actually happens for the first time and it's something you didn't expect to happen i mean that's the best feeling so there we go second spanish Living it right now, all the time, baby. doubled up right now <laughs> let's go <laughs> doubled up on freaking fish i don't know what they are could be spanish could not be let's get this one in real quick hopefully i don't lose both of them <laughs> doubled up dude how epic is that 
Oh, it's bluefish. It's a friggin' bluefish. Are you kidding me? There we go. First one in. Let's see what we got on our bluefish. I'm sure they travel in school, so it's likely what we got on the other rod, too. Epic, dude. Little blue. Little baby bluefish. Not the Spanish double up I thought I was having right there. Almost had a heart attack with that. That was sick though, man. I mean, literally, the amount of fish out here right now is awesome. Let's set this guy free. Our first release of the day. See you, Mr. Bluefish. Live a good life, my friend. All right, back out on the troll. First double up of the day. Total tally stands at three bluefish, two Spanish mackerel. Kept two Spanish. Kept two blues so far. Let's just keep on fishing, man. Let's freaking go. This is awesome. You know the drill. Fish on. Fish on. We on. Oh, nope. <laughs> Just a very dead Spanish mackerel. I think I may have killed him trolling. Epic. All right, guys, we got one lucky Spanish mackerel over here. You don't need to keep this guy, so we're gonna do the good old fashioned release. Hope that works too. Guys, third Spanish mackerel. I, I mean, this is just awesome. The light out here is great. Just trolling for another like five minutes. So literally within five, 10 minutes each time getting a bite. Definitely no complaints there. Stay tuned, many more fish to come. Fog is thick as you can see. I'm not taking many, any waves to the uh, over the bow. This is all just straight humidity and fog. I'm pretty sure I just heard a fog horn over here. So I can put any lines in right now. Just gonna reel up and remain very cautious. And that's why I keep the engine started. Almost got killed out here. Through the fog. Definitely want to be careful out here. Just got slammed, dude. So I was checking my Navionics app, and where I was getting all those bites earlier, I'm like pretty far from those numbers. We're getting closer to him now, and that's when I just got bit. Might be the best fish of the day. Yeah, it seems like a decent Spanish right there. Pretty lively, sucker. There we go. Number four Spanish landed. That might be the biggest one of the day. Nice sized fish. I've been trolling for about 30, 40 minutes now away from those numbers with absolutely zero luck. So, happy I switched up where I was fishing. And there we go, yet another Spanish mackerel on the waiver. And that marks number four that I've landed and I've had five fish on so far. So by far beating my, my best day last year, which was two fish in like four hours. So that's pretty sweet right there for sure. Yet another Spanish mackerel right there. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Absolutely throwing up bait. Very strong fish. Not the biggest one of the day, I don't think, but I already have a bunch of fish in the cooler. Had that flounder I caught the other day. So don't let this guy go. Well, there we go, guys. Stellar day so far. Fourth Spanish macro landed. The fifth one I've had on the line. I mean, the bite is just nonstop. I got some good numbers now where I'm just trolling around in circles. Probably gonna start trolling back now, back to the inlet to get back home. Because today, I mean, I already called the fish I came out here to catch. Stoked that we're slaying the Spanish mackerel down here in Jersey. An exotic species for me. First time trolling on the new wave runner. Epic, epic day. I'm gonna snag something over here. Might be a nice fish. Thing was bent. Oh, nice blue, I think. Yeah. Big blue. No disrespect to the Spanish, but the native bluefish here, they can actually freaking fight, believe it or not. There we are, guys. Third and biggest bluefish of the day. We're gonna send him back real quick. See you, bud. There we go. So that's the biggest bluefish of the day. That guy absolutely smoked the three ounce Clark spoon, or the three ounce weight of Clark spoon, the one that was higher up in the surface. We're getting kind of close to the inlet now, so I'm probably gonna troll back. I don't know if I'm gonna catch any more Spanish. 
I kind of moved away from those numbers just because I want to head back. I don't like being out here in the fog, especially as the day gets later. More boat traffic to come out, and I don't really want anything to do with that. So I'm going to get back to the dock probably, start trolling in.